we're looking at Algebra 1, Part 1. We're starting right at the beginning. But first, you are awesome for taking the time to look at this video and get more experienced in algebra. All right, so let's start at the beginning. We are adding negative numbers. So let's start with example A. Let me zoom in on here real quick. Okay, so example A, negative 3 plus negative 4. So if you're adding two negative numbers, this is just like adding two positive numbers. The number is going to get bigger. So if we were adding 3 plus 4, it would make a bigger number, 7. So just like when you're adding negative 3 and negative 4, it's going to make a bigger number, negative 7. Now, the reasoning behind this is that if we start at negative 3 here on the number line, and we minus 4, if you're minusing, you're going in the negative direction this way. So we're going to go minus 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to end up at negative 7. So you can see kind of the logic behind it here. Negative 3 minus 4. Okay, let's look at example B here. What about 3 plus negative 4? So this is a positive number 3 and a negative number 4. So we're adding one positive, one negative, and if we begin on the number line at the first number 3, and even though we're adding, it's still a negative number, so we have to go in the negative direction this way. So minus 4, basically, 1, 2, 3, 4, we end up at negative 1. So we're even though it shows adding, we're actually subtracting the two. We did the difference between 4 and 3, which is 1. The bigger number is negative, so the answer is negative. And that'll make more sense here in just a second. So in general, as a rule, when we're adding negative numbers, subtracting is the same, um, for the, the same tip. If there's the same sign, we're going to add. If there's different, different signs, you subtract. So in example A, we had two negative numbers. Those are the same sign, so we add them together. Example B, we have a positive and a negative, so we subtracted them and found that the answer was, the difference between them is one, but the larger number is negative, so the answer also has to be negative. So th this will get make more sense the more practice we do. So let's just keep going. So over here, adding two negative numbers you add them to make a larger negative number. It's the same sign, so we add. The answer is always negative when you're adding two negative numbers. So there's no way to get a positive number when you're adding two negatives. So back to the, reviewing the original example, negative three, negative four, they have the same sign, so we're going to add them together, three plus four, and the answer is negative because both negative numbers have been combined to make a larger negative. So the answer is negative 7. And again, if we look at that number line, we can see how it makes sense. We start at a negative, and we get more negative by adding it. Then on this second part here, back to adding one positive and one negative number, you subtract the smaller number from the larger number. So the sign on the answer is going to be the same as the sign of the larger number. So here we have 3 plus negative 4. Those are different signs, positive, negative. So we subtract them. 4 minus 3 equals 1. And then we know the answer is negative because the larger number, 4, is negative. So our answer is going to be negative 1. So let's look at a few examples. So here's our original. Negative plus negative makes a bigger negative. Positive plus negative, this happens to make a negative answer. But it could be positive or negative. Um, the possibilities are positive or negative when adding a positive and negative number. <laughs> okay, so let's check out C, D, and E. So for C, we have 9 plus negative 7. So these are have a different sign, positive and negative, so we subtract them. 9 minus 7 equals 2. Now the answer is positive this time because the larger number 9 is positive. So because positive, I'm sorry, because 9 is positive, it's larger, the answer is positive. So our answer is going to be positive 2. For D, we have 6 plus negative 8. So again, different signs we subtract. And it's always the larger minus the smaller. So 8 minus 6 is 2. But in this case, the answer is negative because the larger number 8 is negative. Example E, negative 12 plus negative 1. These are the same sign. So we're going to add them. 12 plus 1 is 13. 
And we know the answer is negative because both of them are negative. Two negative numbers come together to make a larger negative. So now let's take a look at the practice problems on the next page, on page five. And um, if you're following along in the book, the answers are below, worked out for you. So we're going to just go through them just to reinforce what we already know. All right, so let's start with number one. Negative 5 plus negative 8. So these are the same sign, so we're going to add. 5 plus 8 equals 13. Now I want to decide what the sign is going to be. These are both negative, so I added to make a larger negative. So my answer is negative 13. If I was on a number line and I was at negative 5 and I went negative 8 more, however many, I'm going to end up at negative 13. So this is minus 8. Actually, do this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can see if it was on a number line and we were at negative five, we subtract eight more, we end up at negative 13. Okay, number two. Negative four plus nine. These are different signs, so we subtract. Nine minus four, always the larger minus the smaller, equals five. Now I need to decide what the sign is going to be. The larger number, 9, is positive, so my answer is going to be positive 5. Number 12, I'm sorry, number 3. <laughs> 12 plus negative 19. These are different signs, so I'm going to subtract. Larger minus smaller. 19 minus 12 equals 7. Now I need to look at the signs of these. The larger number, 19, is negative. So my answer is going to be negative, negative 7. Number 4, negative 20 plus negative 30. Same sign, add 20 plus 30 equals 50. I'm adding two negative numbers. That's going to make a larger negative. So my answer is negative 50. Number 5. 18 plus negative 18. So these are different signs, so I subtract. 18 minus 18 equals 0. So my answer is for uh, number 5 is 0. And it makes sense, right? If we were at 18 on a number line, here's 0, here's 18, and then I add a negative 18, that means I have to go back 18. That's going to take me right back to 0. Okay, number 6. 0 plus negative 6. So different signs subtract. So 6 minus 0, of course, is 6. Now the bigger number is negative, so my answer is going to be negative 6. And again, as a quick review on a number line, if I was at 0 and I subtracted 6, or I added negative 6, that means I'm going this direction, 6 units minus 6 is going to put me at negative 6. Okay, number 7. Negative 8 plus 10. Different signs, so I subtract. 10 minus 8 equals 2. The larger number is positive, so my answer is going to be positive 2. All right. Continuing on with number 8. Negative 4 plus negative 3. These are the same sign, so I'm going to add. 4 plus 3 equals 7. I'm adding two negative numbers, so my answer is going to be negative 7. Number 9, negative 2 plus 8. Different signs subtract. 8 minus 2 equals 6. The larger number is positive, so my answer is positive. 9 plus negative 10. Different signs, positive, negative, subtract. 10 minus 9 equals 1. The larger number is negative, so my answer is going to be negative 1. Number 11, negative 22 plus negative 33. Same sign, add 22 plus 33 equals 55. And because I'm adding two negative numbers, this is going to be a larger negative number, negative 55. 15 plus negative 15. If you notice, these, these problems kind of pattern after each other. Um, 
just like we did here, these are different signs, so we subtract 15 minus 15 equals 0. And again, if we were to be on a number line and we were at 15, and we added a negative 15, we'd have to go in the negative direction 15, that'd take us right back to 0. So our answer here is 0. And then number 13, 0 plus negative 7. Different signs, subtract. 7 minus 0 equals 7. The larger number is negative, so the answer is negative 7. And then finally, 14. Negative 6 plus 12. Different signs, subtract. 12 minus 6 equals 6. The larger number is positive, so my answer is positive 6. All right, and for those of you with the book, the answers are all explained down here in detail how to find them to give you a little extra help. All right, we'll continue on the next video Oops. with subtracting negative numbers.